Hey guys, let's talk today about gear groups and their pre-debut B scandals, since yeah, I learned pretty much nothing. Personally, I don't understand how some K-popies can just straight away believe some rumors that doesn't even have like any solid proof. But let's just get into the video now. Well, why some random classmates are coming up with those B scandals before their ex-classmate debuts? It's really not that hard to guess. It's simply jealousy. We had really plenty of scandals like that. A really quick one, Jenny from Blackpink. She had a beast scandal while she was still a trainee. Her alleged classmate tried to expose her for school B. They even went as far as making a fake Facebook account of Jenny just to prove that they are right. In the end, these school B allegations were later refuted by fans and testimonies from Jenny's former classmates. Next, we have Karina from Espa. Her friend exposed her alleged conversation she had with Karina before she debuted. Notice that this scandal was really shortly before SM announced their new gear group. Her friend claimed she called BTS members ugly, shaded her seniors, such as NCT or EXO, called Kai ugly and complained that the company doesn't do anything with her. As these texts started being debunked, a lot of posts on Pan defending her came out. Then someone started being rumors, which also were not true at all, since Karina's former classmate came to defend her and claimed Karina was actually helping her a lot while she was B in school a lot. Now we have a very, very similar situation with Kim Garan from Hype's new gear group Les Serafim. Her classmates claimed she used to be a B in school, that she was drinking and smoking as a minor, People are saying that the classmates have strong proof of her wrongdoings, but the only proof I see is pictures of her where most of her face is completely covered. Let's go back in time now. Big Hit used to have a gear group called Glam that debuted back in 2012. In 2014, actor Lee byung hoon accused two women of blackmailing him by using a compromising video as a leverage. Not really long time after, a member of Glam Dahi and model Lee jong yeon were later identified as the women involved and were charged with blackmailing the actor for 5 billion won. In 2015, the Seoul District Court sentenced Dahi to one year in prison. The same day, Glam's agency confirmed that the members of the group had ended their contracts with the agency and the group had officially disbanded. Since then, Big Hit stayed away from debuting gear groups until now, in 2022. It's been almost 10 years since that incident. So, do you really think that after such big scandal, Hype wouldn't check their trainees first? Someone made a post on Twitter with the reasons why they don't believe classmates and I find it pretty much reasonable. First reason is that Hype isn't a new company and especially after Glam scandal, they definitely check their trainees. Second is explaining that the smoking picture looks like she's having a lollipop. And to be honest, that was my first thought. You're not going to convince me that this is not a lollipop. You're not going to convince me that this is a cigarette. They also pointed out that the Facebook page could be fake, just like in case with Jenny. Third reason is many people who don't want Hype's gear group to succeed. And I think at this point we all know how creative Knets can get when it comes to creating fake B scandals. I mean, we pretty much had a whole circus last year. In the end, this person said they don't defend Garam and they stay neutral. I also found someone on TikTok showing that the pictures of Garam from her classmates isn't actually her pictures. Here you can see that she never had the mole. Also, her friend from school said she never had bangs. And to be honest, you have to be really, really, really blind to not see a difference between them. Also, there's lots of filters on those pictures, pretty much speaks for itself. There's even more proof that she's actually innocent. Like on the board, it says she hates Sakura and I. And allegedly, she sexualized V from BTS. That was two years ago. Hype didn't even exist back then. 
So did I've. Also, it's weird that the picture is from two years ago, which means Sakura was still in iZone and Garam, to me, doesn't look like a time traveler. If you don't want to, fine. But you need to be aware of what you say about her and the consequences of it if she's going to be actually innocent. Yeah, I really need to stop believing everything you see on the internet. I don't know how about you guys, but I really wouldn't want to be sued by hype. So let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel for more. Bye!